From my experience and from plenty of different studies, more than 40 to 50 percent of the cases of uh, uh, issues with the mental health in the males are linked to a low testosterone and many males do not realize that. So please, what's up guys and welcome to another video and today we will be talking about low testosterone and uh, whether it can cause anxiety and a depression. So if you are a male and you have a difficulty with your mental health, this video will be definitely interesting, so keep watching. Low testosterone levels can mimic symptoms of depression and can cause uh, anxiety over the time. If you are experiencing a low sex drive, uh, diminishing energy and uh, overall fatigue during the day you might feel like it's just another part of getting older maybe it is and maybe it is not we are all getting older but if you are um, male uh, who is experiencing uh, different physical symptoms coupled with a consistent uh, depress uh, depressive mood uh, you could actually be dealing with uh, something called hypogonadism uh, in other words low testosterone. I mentioned this term hypogonadism in a previous video. I filmed about the zinc and its impact on testosterone, so go and check it out. But figuring out whether you are uh, dealing with a depression or just a low testosterone is quite tricky uh, because symptoms are very similar. Uh, that's why it requires a uh, examination and some uh, blood work. So how low testosterone impacts your mood? Testosterone belongs to the group called androgens. These are the hormones that give people their uh, male or female characteristics. They pl also play a critical role in uh, puberty, uh, development of your uh, sexual reproductive uh, systems and uh, general ability to reproduce. You can think of all hormones, uh, including androgens, like uh, switches on a circuit board. When production of these hormones are turned on or off, different things happen. You uh, can experience physical, mental and emotional changes uh, whenever production of these hormones increase, decrease or stop completely. When the level of one hormone changes, other uh, hormone change in response. Also, increase in one hormone can mean decrease in another one. When you have these uh, hormonal imbalances, it can cause a variety of uh, different conditions. Now, your testosterone levels uh, normally decrease as you age, but uh, can also fluctuate uh, for many different reasons. Um, there are studies that show that these changes in testosterone can impact your mood in uh, various and very different ways. And these changes can occur in a response to uh, many different factors. And some of the most important ones are uh, stress, lack of sleep, changes in your diet, aging and increasing or decreasing in physical activity. If your testosterone levels are too high, for example, you might feel uh, irritable, you might feel you are quick to get angry, and in comparison, low testosterone can make you feel extremely tired during the day, depressed, weak, or generally low in energy. People with hypogonadism or low testosterone will often say that they have uh, no energy, no desire for uh, sexual activity, and that they uh, notice a decrease in a muscle mass. In fact, uh, hypogonadism is often associated with increased uh, fat mass and reduced uh, muscle mass, which can lead to obesity and other health uh, issues like uh, cardiovascular diseases and plenty of different mental and physical problems. So let's take a look at uh, signs and symptoms of low testosterone and uh, depression. So low testosterone and depression share a lot of uh, same symptoms, including irritability, mood swings, decreased libido, fatigue, lack of motivation, social withdrawal or social anxiety, uh, difficulty focusing and definitely interrupted sleep and rest restlessness. When men say they are depressed, what are they describing? They are often describing having low energy and no desire to take a part in activity that normally bring them pleasure. These are uh, common things that we see with the uh, low testosterone as well. Sometimes men are actually misdiagnosed uh, with clinical depression 
and they might instead have a low testosterone so i guess what i'm trying to say here before proceeding with the treatment of uh, depression make sure you rule out the physical cause of uh, low testosterone or make sure you don't have a low testosterone there are various physical symptoms uh, that might be associated with either depression or low testosterone for example people who have a depression might very often complain of uh, back or neck pain but might not experience other symptoms uh, typically associated uh, with low testosterone that include a decrease in the muscle mass, increase in uh, breast tissue, loss of strength, sudden weight gain and also erectile dysfunction. I also mentioned in a previous video uh, the most common symptom of low testosterone is when you uh, wake up very early in the morning and you do not experience erection. Normally you should experience erection so that could be one of the uh, symptoms or warning signs of uh, low testosterone. So if you are experiencing all of these symptoms and also you suffer on some form of a uh, sexual dysfunction, it is important to evaluate your total and free testosterone. And how to check your total and free testosterone? It's fairly simple. You can do a blood test, mm, submit your blood, in uh, one of the private clinics depending on where you live but uh, most of those clinics are male clinics which uh, do examine your testosterone free testosterone levels and different markers i did test myself uh, but that was at the time when i was um, taking tonkat ali if you don't know what tonkat ali is it's a natural herb that helps you to increase testosterone and it has got plenty of uh, different features as well if I can call it features, um, I did a video about Tom Catali as well, so go and check it out. Um, anyways, uh, results came out uh, surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting my testosterone to be that good. I mean, it was around uh, 760, which is uh, fairly good. Also, uh, I had a fairly good uh, free testosterone, which was in a range of 12 to 13. Um, the only thing what I had high was SHBG. I talked about all of these markers in previous videos. I talked about uh, SHBG and how to decrease it using a boron which is another mineral in a previous video go and check it out so i guess what i'm trying to say is if you are experiencing symptoms of depression anxiety uh, low mood low energy difficulty sleeping uh, and you thinking your life is the reason why you feel that way maybe you have some issues personal issues uh, professional issues at work whatever that is and you are thinking i'm depressed i have anxiety please go and check your testosterone levels from my experience and from plenty of different studies more than 40 to 50 percent of the cases of uh, uh, issues with the mental health in the males are linked to a low testosterone and many males do not realize that so please do your blood work see what's your total testosterone what's your free testosterone what's your uh, albumin what's your shbg next video will be about how to improve your testosterone levels naturally as well and what are the ways how to uh, get it to the higher levels if you have any questions please comment down below uh, if you want to support me you can buy me a coffee i'm gonna leave a link in the description otherwise i am looking forward to see you in the next video very soon bye bye